Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option this 2018 Lincoln Navigator and find out what this thing's all about. Uh, before we do that really quick, I just want to remind you that if you find this content helpful or entertaining, to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. All right, so the 2018 Lincoln Navigator. We're we are going to do the build and price. But you can see by this scroller right here, there's some information to be seen on this page. So we're going to go through this page first and familiarize ourselves with this vehicle. And then we're going to do a build-in price. Um, let's scroll through this and take a couple of looks at these photos. We'll get to the, uh, the gallery in a minute. It is beautiful, isn't it? It sure is. All right. So starts at $72,000. Um, it's got seating for eight. It's estimated uh, fuel range is 1623. Um, they've got a virtual reality thing right here. And we're not going to really dig into it. I'll click on it so that you can see it. But we don't have the VR goggles, so it's not going to give us the full effect. I just want you to see it really fast. What we're going to really look at are the gallery photos. It's a beautiful vehicle, though. Let's look down here. It's a beautiful uh, vehicle. The seats, very unique. I've never seen anything like that. All right, so that's cool. So what we want to do is let's go back. And that was that part. So, yeah, let's explore the gallery. Let's go ahead and click that. And let's start with the photos because they are very beautiful. The, the vehicle is very beautiful. So drag and click. All right, to spin. Gotcha. All right, so what can we play with here? We can play with some colors. Uh, there's blue diamond there's ivory pearl let me scroll up so you can see a little bit better there we go um iced mocha um rhapsody blue that's interesting black velvet uh magnetic gray and then burgundy velvet they've got some nice colors don't they ruby red metallic uh white platinum i like that and the ingot silver I'm, I'm sure I'm butchering that. Ivory Pearl is very nice. I like that. What's not cute, and I never liked it before, can't they tuck that exhaust a little bit further up? Does that ugly piece have to hang out right at the bottom of this surely to be 90 some odd thousand dollar vehicle by the time we get done with it? Um, so let's take a look at the interior. Okay, so you can get this cappuccino. I bet you're going to see, oh, and that spins. I bet you're going to get to see a lot of these in the cappuccino. We need to go back to the exterior so we can spin all the way around that. Um, then you've got the dark slate. That's, a, that's not bad. And then you've got the russet. That's really nice. And then I think I skipped right over the ebony. I sure did. Um, then you've got the ebony um and then let's see gallery stuff let's go back to the other page because i don't want to get too far outside of what we were looking at um and we'll just look through these photos really fast see what this vehicle looks like it's really nice isn't it wow so you got the full lcd screen in there and that's the way kind of everybody's going now look at that i'm sure you got some that's storage down there Looks like that storage down there as well. That's a very, very nice place to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks like that's illuminated. Let's go back. That looks to be illuminated, the uh, the logo. Um, mm -hmm. TV's in the back. I don't know if you caught that. All right, I think we went through those. Um, okay, let's close out. And... Let's see. They're pulling a boat. You probably won't be pulling a boat in your $100,000 <laughs> navigator. Your boat will probably already be down there. Um, let's see. So, twin turbocharged 450 horsepower engine. I think this thing's all new for 18. I don't know. Find yourself at ease and command with a twin turbocharged 3.5 liter uh, engine and a 10 speed transmission. The engine, capable of producing 450 horse, represents a number of firsts for Lincoln, including electronic control of a turbocharged engine and dual port fuel injection. With the addition of a 10-speed transmission, drivers and passengers will experience a smooth control ride with this impressive engine power plus the 10-speed transmission. Should be nice. Let's look at the features really quick. Let's check it out. Uh, the powertrain. Well, let's see. We know about the motor. 
450 horse, 510 torque, 3.5 liter engine. Uh, it is a true powerhouse. Yeah, it sounds pretty good, right? Big vehicle. Big vehicle. Um, what else? Lincoln drive modes. All right. Satisfy your desire for control and need for excitement with the simple twist of a dial from slippery to conserve. Uh, the Lincoln Navigator offers six distinct selectable drive modes for confidence, exhilaration, and control in a wide variety of driving conditions. Well, what are they? Each mode has a number of calculated settings that tune the vehicle, including the available adaptive suspension, shift points, 4.2 and 4.4 or and four-wheel drive, right? Uh, drive lines, information displays, and more. And it happens with the simple twist of a knob. All right. Then they've got an adaptive suspension, uh, and then they're talking about those drive modes again. Uh, here we down down at the pier, pulling our boat. Uh, we saw that it's got an all aluminum body. All right, so that's cool. That's got a reduced weight. That's nice. Uh, features enhanced comfort, quietness, and a better driving experience. It's a beautiful vehicle. I really like that. I know I've said it a bunch of times, but it's nice. Uh, it's got available hill descent control, tow hooks. Um, uh, okay, I think that's good. Um, let's go back to our other page. One more. Well, no, we'll stay there. Let's go. Let's stay there. Hang on a second. Let's get back. Boom. All right, second and third row comfort, right? That's what I saw that. Um, so Navigator is optimized to deliver an immense level of comfort, not to mention best in class, second and third row leg room. Um, Serena's story, we can probably skip that. Lincoln's pickup and delivery program. Uh, intended to preserve the greatest of luxuries, your time, a number of complimentary experiences make owning a Lincoln as effortless as possible. With Lincoln Pickup and Delivery, we will come to you and pick up your vehicle for all your service and maintenance needs, as well as provide a Lincoln loaner uh, while the service is being done. That's really nice. Um, let's play this video. I played this video. This is about those seats. You already saw that those seats look really interesting. Uh, what do they call it? They call it perfect position seat with active motion. It offers a uniquely comfortable experience. Uh, the seat back conforms to you, articulating forward to cradle you, helping take stress off your shoulders. Power thigh adjusters can extend and retract to provide uh, individual leg room. The addition of heating, ventilation for cooling, and massage helps make the simple act of sitting down an elevating experience. Well, that sounds good. Let's check it out. It's just a quick clip. I don't think there's any sound playing. Well, I guess there is. We'll listen to it. It's pretty nice. Turn that down a little bit. I don't know how loud that is on your side. It's a nice seat. But what happens when that bad boy there's breaks? In adaptability. And with 33 individual vertebrae and 640 muscles in the human body, no two of us are alike. The perfect position seat, changing form in order to more perfectly cater to yours. That's the more human side of engineering. Hmm. Okay, well, cool. I know that those Mercedes, the big S classes, they do a lot of stuff. Those seats go in for repairs quite often because the more they do, the more stuff can go wrong. I think that stuff's awesome, though. Definitely not knocking it. We're probably going to option ours with it, right? This isn't going to be a budget build. All right, so the Lincoln Black Label, this is the next level up. When when I thought when I saw the Black Label, it made me think of my MKZ build. I did a Lincoln MKZ, and I think it might have been a Black Label. I'll put a link up. I'll put a link up in the up here. Um, so the Lincoln Black Label brings together superior design and premium service through a curated collection of interior themes and membership privileges. Um, no, that doesn't turn. All right. Looks okay. I don't know if we're going to do the black label. So what? You get premium materials, Venetian leather, premium, uh, I'm not going to butcher that, suede cloth and rich woods combined to create an unforgettable tactile experience. Premium maintenance plan, They've got a four-year, 50,000 premium maintenance plan that covers all required maintenance, recommended service, and replacement of wear items. <sighs> Good deal, right? That's brakes, all that kind of stuff. 
in-home consultation and test drive. Well, they're going to bring one to your house, huh? With a mobile showroom that comes to you, an in-dealership studio featuring a private fitting room and remote vehicle delivery. Lincoln Black Label is tailored around you. Wow, that's taking it to a whole nother level, isn't it? Um, the Yacht Club. <laughs> uh, capture the magic of a light breeze and calm seas on a warm summer day with the Lincoln Black Label Yacht Club theme. Inside, you'll find expansive linear details accented with whitewashed teak and coastal blue Venetian leather, all evoking luxury and leisure that are found only in the finest of yacht clubs. That's crazy. We're going to maybe have to take a look at that really fast, really fast. Uh, destination, mm -hmm. I don't know where she's looking. I don't know where they are either, but that vehicle looks pretty nice. The Chalet. Experience the Lincoln. Oh, I'll have to go back and read the other one. Experience the Lincoln Black Label Chalet theme and evoke the contrasting pleasures of pulse-raising mountain slopes and the warm comfort of the mm, a Pre's Ski Lodge. Engaging espresso and alpine leathers. All right. So they've got different themes, right? And we skipped over the other one, which was the Lincoln Black Label Destination theme. Laser etched diamond texture. Oh, that one sounds interesting. Combined with Kea mahogany appliques to create an elegant driving environment that's as adventurous as your next destination. All right, so that's interesting. Explore the Black Label. Let's take a look at the Black Label really quick. I don't know who, if you're watching this, you may or may not be interested, but let's do a full review of this before we do the build. All right, because that's going to be the next step after we do this. So the black label, label membership privileges, uh, premium material materials de deserve superior service. Um, what do they give you? Uh, your membership on your terms. Um, t -t 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 mobile showroom. Yeah, we already saw that. Available within 30 miles of a participating Lincoln dealer. Black label Lincoln dealers, right? May vary. Of course. What do you mean may vary? It's going to vary by state, of course. All right. So you got that guy. Complimentary care. Uh, anytime car washes as well as uh, annual annual detailing. So once a year uh, to help keep your Lincoln. You're going to need it more than that, FYI. Uh, and how hard is it to get in and schedule a car wash? You know what I'm saying? How hard is that? Can you just roll up? to the dealership and are they going to hop right to it or are you going to be sitting there two hours um so that's that's the whole thing there but still cool but any bmw dealership you can roll up and get your car washed too i know that for a fact probably a mercedes dealership as well uh premium maintenance all lincoln black label vehicles come with a four-year fifty thousand, right and it covers all the wear and tear that's a good deal upgraded travel um that may or may not be interesting to you uh culinary connections right so foods and all that um and then they're showing their different black label cars all right so let's go back and let's go ahead and build this bad boy um let's go ahead and scroll up to the top and build in price let's build in price all right let me put in my zip code hang on a second okay zip code in now it gives us two options we can either look for one in their network of ones that are already equipped or we can build our own well you know what we do on this channel so we're going to build our own all right so they come in a couple of different trims right they come in the premier they come in the select comes in the reserve and then it comes in the black label here's the reality and it's kind of like the, the the cadillac escalade they're hot. I think the Escalade's hot, too. I need to do that build. And if I've done that build, I'm putting the link up right here. <laughs> right here. Um, the thing is, I don't know how many people are pulling the trigger to spend $100,000 on their on their American SUV. You know, I think it's just a push. I don't know. I really don't know. I think it probably gives you a lot, but I don't know. But before we do that, before we do that, let's start with looking at the Premier. Why? Because I think the Premier is probably going to be where most people start. But what I really want to do is I'm not saying I want to build the Premier out. I'm not sure that I do. But I know that let's start by looking at all the options that the Premier has. Because we know going forward that every other one, the Select, the Reserve, and we're not going to build the Black Label, but of course the Black Label... Um, is going to have that equipment and more. So let's start with the Premier. It gets uh, its key features are 20 inch wheels. And hey, it might be enough for us. 20 inch ultra bright machined aluminum wheels. 
Uh, first and second row heated seats. You got the sink three. Let's go more detail. So it's going to give us all the standard features, and that's what we're really looking at. Now, I'm not going to read over everything. So if I'm not reading over everything and you want to catch something, just pause the video so you can catch that really fast. I'm kind of scanning, and I'm looking for highlights, right? Um, side wind stabilization. That's a highlight to me. There's those link and drive modes, even though they didn't tell us the name of the modes. Uh, you got that V6 engine that pumps out a lot of horsepower and torque. Uh, you got a 373 rear end. You got that 10-speed uh, transmission, the 20-inch wheels, but yet you have a 17-inch spare. I don't know how that works. Uh, the Lincoln Embrace, they didn't go into that. You got LEDs. So everything's LED. I see LED for the lighting kind of everywhere, more or less. Uh, easy fuel, capless fuel filler. Uh, that's super cool. Um, interior features. Uh, I'm looking for notable stuff. Ambient lighting, instrument cluster, 12-inch configurable LCD screen, leather-wrapped steering wheel, genuine wood trim, uh, reverse sensing system, Bliss, the blind spot information system with cross traffic, um, sun power windows, da 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 da, universal remotes, uh, electronic parking brake. You got a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff. Like I said, I'm scanning because I just kind of want to see what's up with the tech. What's with the tech? The Sync 3. Embedded 4G modem, Wi-Fi hotspot. You know, you're thinking with 72,000, this thing should have a bunch of standard features, and it looks like it probably does. Um, you know what? Here's what I want to do. This is going to be a longer build. You know why? Because let's build all of these bad boys. Let's look at all of them. I'm going to configure a Premier, a Select, a Reserve, and a Black Label. And then if I can, most of the time you can download that as a PDF. You can save your build, and I'm going to put those each individual build in the description below, and so you can download your specs. Now, as far as style, I don't understand the style. What's regular? What's regular? What's regular versus, oh, long wheelbase, long wheelbase. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, we're going to go regulars across the board on all of them. Okay, we're also going to go, I don't see the point of having an SUV and not getting four-wheel drive. So we're going to have four-wheel drive on all of them. And then, oh, so that's the black label, da, da, da. So if you do black label, what's that? Then that just does, right, gotcha. All right, just double checking. All right, so we're going to start with the Premier. And we're going to configure it. And we're going to save that build. And then we're going to look at the other ones. All right, so... We already got our 4x4. We already know it's a short wheelbase. Let's take a look at the photos really quick. I think it's attractive. I think the Premier is pretty dang good. I think it's pretty good. Now, as far as colors are concerned, we already went through the colors. Um, now we can see that there's upgraded prices for some of these bad boys. Um, the Burgundy. I like the Ice Mocha. This big bad boy, this big vehicle, yeah, it looks good in black. The reality is it's going to be a bear to clean it and keep it nice, and keep it not scratched up and swirl marked. So, you ask me, go with a lighter color. I think the iced mocha looks pretty good. I think the ivory pearl is really nice. I think the white platinum and the ingot silver is, eh, that's a little plain. Let's just, not that one. I like the white better. I like the ivory pearl. Let's do the ivory pearl for this build. Let me go up and make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, uh, so we got that. And then the running boards, not illuminated, those are included, right? The running boards are down here on the side. They're not illuminated, so there's no lights, but they're included. 20-inch um, wheels, 14 spokes, ultra-bright machined aluminum wheels, those are included. Um, ebony or cappuccino interior, it's leather, it's included. Um, do we have interior photos? No, okay. Um, but we're going to stick with the black leather. I think the I think the cappuccino is... I'm not a big fan of the light interior, and I just think it just shows too much dirt, especially on a vehicle like this. So we're going to go with the black leather interior. Do we want the all-weather floor liners? What happens if we click this? All right, first and second row all-weather floor liners are optional on Lincoln Navigator. Well, let's come back to that, or let's see if there's a better package, really. Um, the radio type. 
This is the Revel audio system with AM, FM, stereo, HD, radio, 14 speakers. Does it give us any more info on that? No, it doesn't say anything about... And, and we didn't see it in the in the standard equipment. I didn't see anything about uh, the uh, about Apple CarPlay or any of that. Do we need the Sirius satellite? I'm not really into it, but it's included. Um, the Sync 3, okay, here we go. Sync 3, blah, blah, blah. There it is right there. So the Sync 3, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, the latest in voice activated technology. This is this is the, this is their good stuff. All right, so yeah, that's right. It's got the Sync 3. That's included. Um, so we're good there. The voice activated navigation, the premium heated leather trim seating surfaces. Yeah, we did ours in black. I think that looks good. Uh, the second row heated 40-20 split seats. Do we need that? Because oh, right now the way we have it set up is we have a eight seater, right? Because this isn't a captain's chair. See, there's another seat in the middle, right? See, this is a uh, with the walkthrough. I like the captain chairs. Oh, that says included. All right. Well, do we see which way to select? No, we didn't. All right. Well, okay. Well, maybe that's something that we can't define here. Let's just take a look really fast. Um, this just says premium heated leather trim seating surfaces. Okay, got it. Heated first and second row seats early. Third row seats are vinyl. Okay, good thing I clicked on that. Uh, but that's not the right color. Uh, optional and reserve. So, uh, second row pass through dual captain chairs. Uh, seats come standard on Lincoln Navigator, Premier, and select optional on reserve and black label. Okay, gotcha. All right, so those are our seats. And see, we're already at the summary. And now that's why we're going to build all of them because the builds are going to be really, really fast. Really fast. So, all right, so the car started at basically 70, well, 76 grand now. What did we do in pieces? We didn't really add much, did we? No, we didn't. Everything basically came, it was $74,000. Uh, our options were basically $700. Uh, our MSRP comes to 76.6. So it basically comes pretty loaded. You're getting everything. It comes with leather, wood. Uh, you got a big, powerful engine. Uh, you got the Sync 3. And if you want more, then you go up in, in price points. So can we print this? Yes. So let me print this, and then we're going to do the next build. Okay, that one's done. Now, let's go back and reconfigure another one. So like I said, we're still keeping the short wheelbase and the 4x4. Um, now we're going to do the select. The select has all the features of the Premier, right? Plus now it gets 22-inch wheels, bigger wheels, heated steering wheel, painted ebony black illuminated power running boards. See, what I think the deal is with these Lincolns is, well, they're just so much dang money that they already come loaded with a whole bunch of stuff anyway, right? You're getting all the stuff. I mean, the $76,000. All right, so... Do we need to hit the details? I don't think we do because it's just going to go through those standard features again and and that would be that. I just want to go through just to double check. So let's look at the select and build this one out. Um, let's do that one in the same color, ivory pearl. That's my favorite one for this build. Um, now, this one, you can option it with a heavy-duty trailer tow package, which the other one didn't have that option. Now, here's the deal, uh, I think. Well, there we go. Here's the deal with that. I think that I know that I'm not towing anything with my, you know, $80,000 Lincoln Navigator. You might want to. If you don't want to option that package right now, I'm pretty sure that you can go into the dealer at any time when you get service and say that you want to get the tow package put on, and they can put that on your vehicle at any time. So with that said, we're not going to do it right now. Um, exterior options. Do we want the bright roof racks with crossbars? Well, that's bright right there. Uh, but with the crossbars, do we not have the crossbars standard? Um, bright roof rack comes standard on Lincoln Navigator. Just read. That's all I got to do, huh? Crossbars are included with optional cargo package on select and reserve. I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it. I'm not putting anything up there anyway. Uh, the panoramic vista roof, we don't need it, but we want that. 
we want that roof. Um, it comes with the running boards, power deployable and illuminated. Let's read a little bit about that. Power deployable running boards extend to greet you as you approach. In dark settings, the running boards are bathed in light, helping to lead the way and to assist you as you enter and exit the vehicle. Cool. That's included. Uh, these 22-inch wheels are included. Now, we can upgrade to these things for $9.95. Uh, these are six-spoke, ultra-bright, machined aluminum wheels. Let's see what they look like. Hopefully, they change the photo. I don't necessarily think they look more attractive than the other ones, do you? I don't think you do either. Let's stick with these. Let's stick with those. Uh, what is this? The technology package. This wasn't even offered uh, on the uh, on the premiere. So let's read about the technology package. Um, this is $2,600 of packaging. This comes with active park assist, adaptive cruise control, auto high beam heads up display, you know I'm in. You know I'm in. I love heads-up display. Pre-collision assist with pedestrian detection. Lane departure warning with driver impairment monitor and lane keeping aid. Driver impairment monitor. That's an interesting way to phrase that. All right. Boom. Got that. All-weather floor liners. Yeah, let's throw those in. What's the cargo package, though? What's that? Does that come with those? Uh, tiered cargo area uh, management system with four-way configurable partition. Bright, They just keep pushing that bright roof rack thing on us, don't they? Uh, let's get the all-weather floor liners. We're going to skip that cargo package. I just, the Lincoln Play rear seat entertainment. Uh, I think uh, if you have kids and you think you really need that, uh, I don't, I'm not going to option this one, but let's read about it. Because unless it's like you can stream stuff to it, then it's pointless. Uh, Lincoln Play includes a rear seat entertainment system that allows passengers to stream content wirelessly with compatible mobile devices to one of the 10-inch adjustable screens mounted on the rear of the front seats. Uh, content also can be accessed, uh, accessed through the more traditional devices like an SD card, an HDMI cord, or a USB, as well as through Sync App Link which permits the front seat passengers to monitor and select viewing content. Each screen can display different content, allowing a personalized entertainment experience for every passenger. Through Lincoln's agreement with Sling Media, those who own a Sling box can access their TV channels on the go. The standard Wi-Fi allows for up to 10 mobile devices at a time to be connected. Well, you know what? That's pretty hot. Let's just do it. I'm not even, let's just do it, because I just sold myself on it. <laughs> let's just do that. Do we want those good seats, the perfect position 30 ways? Yeah, we do. We want those bad boys. Um, let's read about, let's read about those seats, though. Even though we watched the video, uh, 11 independent air cushions, heating, ventilation for cooling, independent thigh extenders, uh, yeah, relaxing, rejuvenating. Let's hope. Um, 1500 bucks. It's not a bad price, though. Um, so we got the 14 speakers, da-da-da. It's got the Sirius. It's got the Sync 3, the Navigation, um, premium heated leather seating surfaces. Uh, it comes with uh, the pass-through seats, which I like. Okay, I, got, I think I got it figured out. Okay, if you want the bench, then you select that with the power fold, blah, blah, blah. Got it. I didn't read it the last time. Sorry, sometimes I do that because I'm trying to go through these videos in a timely manner and not hang up and just be sitting there going, uh. So sometimes I might skim and I miss, but we caught it. Awesome. All right, so that's how that works. Now we're at the summary. Let's hit the summary. Uh, we started off at $78,000. We whopped this bad boy up with almost nine grand in options. Uh, and we're walking out the door with this bad thing at 88805 Let's go ahead and uh, save this build, and then we'll do another one. Okay, that one's in the books. Let's go back, and let's take a look at the reserve. That comes with those different wheels. They're different. They're different because these were 22-inch dark tarnished painted wheel. These are 22-inch dark tarnished painted wheels, but they have a different design. And it comes with the panorama roof, uh, panoramic roof, and it comes with the heated and ventilated front, uh, first row seats. So let's configure. What else do we need to do to it? Uh, let's go ice mocha on this one. 
Um, let's see. Um, do we want the heavy duty trailer package? No. Do we want those roof racks? No. It comes with the panoramic roof this time. It's got the running boards. We already read about that. We're not getting those wheels because they're ugly. Let's just say it what it is. The interior. Oh, do we not select the interior on the other one? If we didn't select the interior on the other one, because I probably skipped over it, we want black. I always want. But this russet, though, this russet looks pretty good. Oh, there's the interior shot. Bam. <laughs> Boom. Russet. I like the russet. The russet looks good. Right? I'm either a fan of the russet or the black. Right? I don't think you can go wrong with either or. Right? Some people might like the slate. No, we're not getting it. Uh, but let's go with the russet. Let's go russet. Uh, we want that technology package. We already read about it. We want the all-weather floor mats. Um, front console. Sing Who does a single CD player? No, we don't want that. Uh, we want the link and play. Uh, we'll do the perfect position. Oh, upgraded stereo. Let's read about it. It's just a grand. Um, what does it give us? 20 intentionally placed speakers, right? Aren't they all intentionally, whether or not it's an upgrade? Uh, audience and onstage sound modes help make the sounds you hear as pure and rich as they were originally intended. That's hot. I like that. We're getting it, and it's cheap. Um, so what does that require? Oh, we got to get the... <laughs> We got to get the CD player. <laughs> they got to pass it off on somebody, right? So, yeah, we're, we'll take it. Fine. Um, uh, all that's included, included, included. Sync 3, included, included. The seats, the seats. We got that. Uh, heated dual captain chairs. Do we want the heated? Yeah, let's do that. Come on. Why not? Um, boom. Okay. And second row heated split. Oh, the bench. No, we don't want the bench. Oh, second row heated console. Do we want a console? Is that an upgrade? Let's see about the console. What's up with that? That's standard on Lincoln Navigator, Reserve, and Black Label, if we want it. Do we want the console? That just means people are going to be fumbling with stuff more. Let's save it for the, re the reserve build. Let's save it for the reserve build. Let's go to summary. All right, so... This one, we really whopped it up. $81,000 on this thing. We did, well, the, we spent less. Seems like as you go up, well, obviously, as you go up in tiers more, you spend less on options because you get more. $7,800 in options. This thing was ninety grand, two seventy-five. dollars Let's print and move on. Okay. Let's do it. One more. Premiere. Select. Reserve. The black label. This one comes with 22-inch ebony black paint wheels. Technology package included. Oh, they're giving us the tow trailer package. We already got it, the trailer tow package. Let's configure. This bad boy starts, well, it's 96 grand. Look at the seats. They're gorgeous. I love that, that stitching. I just love it. Can we get a bigger shot of that? Oh. Mm, there's a heads-up display down there. That's, mm, I like that. Let's... uh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? The chalet theme is included. Or we can do, let's see what the destination theme looks like. That would cost us seventeen fifty to go all interesting. Uh, what's? We're not doing the yacht club because I don't want the grays. And I, oh, but we give up the chalet theme. We don't get that cross, that stitching. Hmm. I want the chalet theme. I want the chalet theme because I like I like I like it. It's bright in the cabin, and normally I don't do the light interior, but it's just attractive to me. The destination theme is pretty attractive too. And for the heck of it, let's look at the yacht club. Yacht club. Mm, that's pretty, isn't it? The yacht club theme is a pretty too. It is attractive. I'm, I'm not really a big fan of the ribbed seats or whatever. Let's look at that destination theme one more time. That's attractive too. That's very rich looking. Very very rich looking. But let's do the chalet theme. All right, let's do the chalet theme. We're on the chalet theme. Uh, for the paint, we're going to go black. We're going to go black for this last build, right? You got you can spend 100,000. I'm going to get this thing detailed every month, right? I'm going to have a place around near my house that's going to take care of this bad boy for me. Let's see this chroma blue though. That's what you do with the yacht club theme, huh? Yeah, for sure. All right, well we're going black. Um, 
Heavy Duty trailer package included. Let's do the dang roof. No, we're not doing the roof racks. We don't need it. We're not putting anything up there. Uh, all the panoramic roofs included. Those wheels. They're still trying to push those wheels. We're not getting them. But let's just take a look at them really fast. This doesn't look better. It just doesn't look better. It just doesn't look better. Uh, the Venetian, right? Uh, the leather interior is what we did. The technology package is included. We're going to do those all-weather floor mats. Uh, we don't. I'm not going to bother with the cargo package. Oh, wow, they still don't give you the link and play. We still got to pop for the perfect position seats. And do they give us... Okay, they give us a... The, the upgraded audio system, that's included. All right, all the other stuff, the sync, the navigation, that's all included. Uh, we're not doing those. Do we want the heated captain's chairs? Yeah, we want the heated captain's chairs. Do we want the console seats? Oh, wait a minute. You got to remove that. Let's do the console for this car. Why not? Now, how does this work pass through so this does this like oh this flips down so you can get over back there I always wonder how you how how you easily I should say get back here I know how to get back there how do you easily get back there uh so yes there we go all right so summary all right this thing black oh oh and this comes with all those black label privileges as well right complimenting car washes annual detailing remote delivery the culinary connections uh so this car was 93 grand its options only cost us 3300 dollars we're walking out the door at 98 thousand dollars 220 to take this car home so uh i'm gonna print this off and like i said i'm gonna put all of these builds in the description below so you can download these pdfs Oh, yeah, this Lincoln is a very nice vehicle. The reality is, the reality is, real quick, I think that the Premier is a pretty dang v good vehicle. Uh, it's a pretty dang good vehicle. That's the base model. And, yeah, you're missing a bunch of stuff. But if you're really just dying to get into one of these and you're trying not to break the bank, that's a good place to start. So I'm going to wrap this build up. If you made it to the end, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you'd like this video, please thumbs it up. And please subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate that. Okay, have a wonderful day.